to share with you now uh, various features of what are known as capacitance. All right. So what I'm pointing at right now, these are individual capacitors. And the purpose in life of a capacitor is to store charge. And uh, the amount of charge that a capacitor can store is rated in a very special way. You see the capital F, that stands for farad, that's the units of capacitance. And the Greek symbol mu there means micro, so these are in millionths of a farad. A uh, capacitor of one farad would be quite large, and is usually not used in typical settings. Uh, it's typical to be more along the lines of micro to down as small as maybe pico farads. So you can see in this bin, we have different ones, 47 up to 470. So that means that this one right here can store 10 times as much charge per volt as uh, the 47 microfarads. So we're going to be dealing with those, and so that means we'll need the gator clips once again to connect them up in circuits. We also have a circuit board whereas it has various components that are mounted to it, our subject of interest right now are the two that are mounted over here. So they're right at 100 microfarad and 330, as you see. Yet even another way to deal with capacitors is through the capacitance box. Similar to the resistance box, what's built inside of here are many of these individual capacitors such that when we dial down, switches, we're connecting capacitors up in various ways in series and parallel. So how can we measure the capacitance of these different capacitors in whatever ways we want to do that? That's through a capacitance meter, which I'm just going to call a cap meter from here on out. Its sole purpose in life is to measure capacitance. So this is different than the multimeter itself. So pretty simple and straightforward. We just need to plug into the two ports. So let's do that. And really, we're ready to go. So say that you want to measure, let's say, going back to the bin here, the 47 microfarad capacitor. So we need the gator clips. Let's put them on and attach to each side. Okay, and then what you want to do here is you want to dial, now, now take a look at the dial, uh, different ranges starting with 20 narrow f nanofarads, excuse me, or excuse me, this millifarads, all the way down to 200 picofarads. So the largest setting to the smallest possible setting. So what you want to do here is you dial and dial down and dial down and dial down until you eventually reach a 1. That means you've gone to too low a setting. So we dial back and that will give us our greatest precision possible. And so for this particular capacitor, we see the meter is telling us 53.1 microfarads. You're going to find that uh, capacitors are much harder to, uh, you have to allow for a greater tolerance from the factory than resistors. So you can see that's a good six microfarads off from capacitance meter. Okay, so let's disconnect him and let's take a look at how these are going to work. Now the way you plug into these to the board or the capacitance decade box is you don't use the central white port the red. And so if the switches are in the up position, that means they're off. So for instance, if I want to use this guy, let's say I all want to do is uh, have one microfarad capacitance. I dial down to one microfarad and I come to my meter once again. And I keep dialing down until I get to my greatest precision hit a 1, I'm back off. And so I can see that I have a 0.995 microfarad reading, which is pretty close. 
Now, let's say that we don't want just one microfarad. Let's say we dial down the two microfarad switch. So that means what you have here is one and two. These are both in series. That's what's happening behind the scenes. So you can see that gives us very close to a total of uh, three microfarads. Okay, so question is though, are they really in series in the box or not? Because I know we learned that with resistors, that these two together, you know, you, if they were resistors in series, they would just add together. Let me show you something about that. So if we come over to the circuit board, and let's say we plug into each side of the 100 microfarad capacitor, we come back to our meter, and we dial into the correct setting, we see that we have about 118 and change, which is quite off from the reading, granted, but, uh, but that's what the meter is giving us for him. And let's go ahead and check the other one while we're here. See, we have to dial up a little bit for him, giving about 354 microfarads for him, so that's in the ballpark. But the question is, what if we connected both of these up together in series? Now we can do that if I plug in, and you can see the way the, uh, what the indication is showing us, is that if I plug into here, that means that those two are now in series with one another. And let's take a look at the reading. Notice it says 89 microfarads. So what's going on here? These aren't like resistors where these two we are now connected up in series. You'd figure they ought to be in the neighborhood of the 400s. You just straightforward add them. But that's not the case. Turns out capacitors work in a sense opposite to resistors such that when capacitors are put together in series, you actually get a lower value. You have to put them together in parallel to achieve a higher capacitance. So you'll see this in later.